Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0 Day 2. Yesterday, we really started off the challenge well by laying the foundation with regards to our connected applications uh, to in order to us to have success moving forward with all of the different applets and submenus within KW Command. Today, we're going to pour a little bit more into that foundation by working on our marketing profile. In order to do that, we're going to log into KW Command and we're going to click on this drop down arrow next to our name and we're going to choose a settings. From there, we're going to come to the left hand side here where this column is and we're going to click on connect settings and then marketing profile. Once we do that, we do have a couple of options here. We have the ability to start the marketing profile Kelly guide or we can scroll down and just start filling in the information listed below. I actually prefer the Kelly guide because there's some additional steps that happen in the guide that don't happen on this page. So let's dive into that by clicking on marketing profile Kelly guide. And you'll see it's going to take us through several steps. We're going to go through the profile. We're going to configure some accounts. We're going to add some smart plans to our personal library. We'll have a summary and find out what's next. So in order to get started, we'll click there. And you'll see on page one, we've got four things we need to start working on. So let's start with branded header. You can see once I click on that branded header button, it shows me what I will be editing, right? So this is the branded header. Uh, first name, right? You can see this is our Market Center test account. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it over to my name with my team and then my website. All right, and I can then click on, oh, I need to upload my team logo. Let me do that real quick. So I basically click on upload photo and I will drag and drop. Let me find where I have that. Here's Summit Property Group. I want a PNG file, just in case it's ever dropped anywhere where there is not a white background. This will allow for transparency and just make it look a little more professional. So I'm going to stretch that out and center it over my logo and click on set image and I can click on next from there. You'll see now I'm moving into the about section and here is that about section here. So I'm gonna upload my photo and I'm gonna find where I have that saved on my computer and I'm gonna drag this box out until it covers the entire space and then click on set image. Next I have a DBA logo, which is that's basically your market center logo and you can see it actually takes you here this means the entire name not just keller williams or the kw logo market center dba names can be found in the style guide here right so i can actually click on this link and it's going to take me into the kw connect page for logos and branding and if i scroll down about halfway down the page you can see here is the search box where i can put in my market center name or number we are market 63 here at Houston Platinum, and you can see here 63 Platinum, and I have the ability to download all of the Market Center logos for my Market Center. Uh, once I do, this is a zip file. I can unzip it into four separate folders, and those are a variety of different style of file formats and different colors as well. The only issue is that typically these are not 360 by 360. So I'll show you here if I went to upload a photo from my DBA and I chose one of the ones that had already been uh, unzipped and downloaded to my computer. Here's an example, right? So if I click on that, well, it's a great looking logo. However, the logo needs to be 360 by 360. Uh, and this is clearly probably 360 or whatever by much wider. So what I need to do is take that logo that I have downloaded and I need to stretch it out or not really stretch it out. I just need to add white space around it so I can get it 360 by 360. So I'm gonna click on file open. I'm gonna find where I had that logo on my computer, the one that I just downloaded. And here it is. And I can see, so this is Paint, the program that I'm using, okay? So Microsoft Paint, it's included on all of your PCs. Uh, most uh, Apple products or Mac products will have something similar as well. You could also use Canva or there's a variety of other programs you could use to resize this logo. So I can see down here at the very bottom, it's 1143 by 335. 
So what I need to do is click on resize. I'm going to choose pixels and I want the horizontal to be 360. That's going to mean the vertical is 105. So I'm going to click on OK and you can see it shrinks that logo down. The next thing I'm going to do is click on this box here in the middle and I'm going to scroll down until I get to 360. I'll show you in just a second where that pixel count is increasing if you have not already seen it there at the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to get as close as I can. There's 360 by 359 down here at the bottom. I'm then going to select the logo by clicking, outlining it, and then I'm going to push down on my down arrow so that it stays centered from left to right. I'm going to push all the way down. I'm going to get that pretty well centered where I like it. And then I'm going to come back one more time and resize it pixel wise. Now I'm going to uncheck the maintain aspect ratio because I need this vertical pixel count to be exactly 360. So by unclicking that and then changing it 360 by 360, I can click on OK. And then I can come in and save as, and I want to save this as a PNG again so it can be transparent. And I can now say 360 by 360. That allows me to now have my Market Center logo saved as a PNG file. The next thing I can do now is come back to my marketing profile. I can click on DBA logo upload. I can choose that image and I can find the one that was 360 by 360. Click on open and now you see I can stretch this box all the way across and set that as my image and it is now 360 by 360. Next I want to come in and put in my license number. I want to put in my brokerage license number. I want to put in my office phone. I want to put in my email address, my mobile phone. Market center name should be there already. Bio, you want to put in a little bit about yourself here in your biography. And then credentials, you could put this. Um, I can tell you I'm an IBR, REO, SFR. So those are my accreditations, my alphabet soup, if you will. You can kind of choose what you select to put there. Next, I'm going to hit the next button. It's going to take me into the social media section now of our page. And I would start filling in all of my Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and then my KW app link, which you can get by going to the actual app on your phone and then texting it to yourself and copying and pasting or typing in that app link. Once I fill in all of this, I would click on next. Then I can get down here to the legal footer. So you'll probably want to have a discussion with your market center if there's any requirements with regards to what your market center requires based upon where you actually live. I can click on next from there. Now it's going to get me to step two where I can configure my accounts. So here is the reply to email address for any email sent on your behalf. So we know that right now, as of today, uh, November 22nd, MailJet sends out our um, market, or excuse me, our uh, monthly neighborhood nurture smart plans. So I want to click on configure this so that I can change the reply to email. Now, if you watched yesterday's video and you've already configured this, you can go ahead and do it again. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, I want to, you've configured your email use. I want to continue configuration. Next, I can come down to the Twilio configuration and click on configure and it's going to open this Twilio page where I can do that. Now, again, if you watched yesterday's video and already worked through configuring your Twilio, you don't have to do it again. I can just click on continue from there. Next, I get taken into the smart plans. So here are all of the available smart plans right now. Uh, those of you who have been following along, I don't know if you noticed, but we do have a brand new smart plan. I think that's as of yesterday home anniversary, so that's kind of cool. So there are now nine KWRI or labs established smart plans. And here on the right hand side, if I wanted to, I could start adding people to them actually within the guide. Okay, so I'm not actually going to go through that step. And yet you can see here are all the smart plans that you could add people to while you're within this Kelly guide. Next, I'll click on next. It's going to give me this nice little red X. Let's try that one more time. And let's see, maybe I need to go through and not click on anything and next. So it looks like it's hanging us up just a little bit on this red X. I'll look into that and figure out what's going on. Um, essentially, this is the last page. Let's just see if I add one contact to one of these 
uh, would that help? Let's add Corey to a monthly neighborhood nurture. There is a problem adding your contacts. So looks like uh, we're probably having a push right now. Uh, something new is rolling out. That's the only time that I ever see Kelly or command glitch is when it's being improved. So um, essentially we have gotten through the majority of this. What I'd like to see is if we click this X, does it hold up and save everything for us? Well, let's go back and double check. We're gonna click on settings. We're gonna come over to connect settings, marketing profile, and there you can see all of the updates have occurred. So my photo is there, my team logo, all of the other information that I filled in previously is all now listed. If I didn't know some of my social media handles, I could always come back in here. Uh, the other cool thing is that on this main page, not necessarily within the Kelly guide, but on the main page, I have the ability to add a Facebook pixel and a Google, Google Analytics ID. So both of these are going to basically help you know more about what's happening uh, with regards to your uh, social media campaigns, with regards to your websites, et cetera. Uh, we may do a separate video at a later date on these two, and yet if you know enough about the two, feel free to fill them in. If not, go ahead and leave them blank for now, and we'll work on those in the future. So I clicked on save. It's telling me my brokerage office phone number is not entered. And let's put that in, and let's go down to save one more time. And there we go. So my marketing profile has now been created. You can see your marketing profile was successfully saved. From now on, it will make your work easier and be helpful in the auto completion of many templates and marketing materials. Remember, you can edit inside of settings anytime you want to. So anytime you wanna come back in and change any of this, you have the ability to do so. And yet right now it has all been saved and you'll see how that will impact us later on when we start doing things like campaigns and smart plans and building out our sites as well. Guys, that's day two of the 66 day challenge 3.0. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow. Thanks so much.